Hey guys. So today we're going to talk about setting up a schedule and not just any schedule, but a block schedule. I want you to understand how to block your time so that you can be more productive and get things done and feel good about all of the things, feel good about doing it. So um, I have a PDF file and a Google spreadsheet that you can use either one of them to create your block schedule. And what I'd like for you to do is look at your day one homework, your why. Why do you want to do the things you want to do? Why do you have this big, hairy, audacious goal? And then I want you to look at your goal itself and figure out a few things that you can do today, tomorrow, this week, to get started in working toward that goal. So yesterday we talked about SMART goals and how SMART goals worked to create goals that are easier to hit because they're very specific and they're very, they have time sensitive, they have dates. Like I am going to cook three meals at home this week and eat them at the kitchen table. Like that's a very specific health goal. Or I'm going to drink a hundred ounces of water every day this week. That is measurable and it's timed and it's very specific. So you want to take those goals and you want to look at your day-to-day -day life and you want to create a block schedule. Now, most of us are going to have a period of time that's going to be blocked off for work. So that's probably the first thing you have to do is mark off like your work and the amount of time it takes you to get from point A to point B so that you know when you're going to be at work. Now, it's something that a lot of people don't think about is you have breaks and you have lunch when you're at work. Are any of the things that you need to do in order to hit that big, hairy, audacious goal, things that you can do during those breaks? Do you need to make a couple of phone calls? Do you need to make a post on social media? Do you need to eat healthier? Like, are you planning and prepping your meals? Are you bringing your snacks so that you're not hungry and having cravings and eating foods that you shouldn't be eating. So utilize the time that's available to you and create a block schedule. So for example, my block schedule has a period of time where I get up, take a shower, make my bed. Every morning it's at the exact same time, except on the weekends I give myself a little bit of slack and I allow myself to to get up and around later, even though I still typically wake up at the same time, I just give myself a little bit of extra flexibility on the weekend because, you know, it's the weekend. But during the week, I have a set get up time and I have like an hour to get up, get dressed, take my supplements, make my bed, take a shower, all of those things. And then I also set aside a half an hour every morning to do um, some sort of personal development and then I start my day and I work on specific things during the day. So like from, I have my schedule right here. So from eight to nine, I check my emails and I create my to-do list for the day. And then from nine to 10, I look to see if there's any accounting that needs to be done, banking, those sorts of things. And then I do that during that amount of time, make out bank deposit slips so that I can take them to the bank when I leave the house or go somewhere. Um, and then from 10 to 11, actually from 10 to 12, I work on different types of marketing. I create emails, I do different things. So you can see that I'm creating blocks of time to do things in. So if you have a to-do list of things that you do every single day, then you wanna make sure that you get those into those blocks. And if you have things that you wanna start implementing that will help you reach that big, hairy, audacious goal, then you need to figure out when you can squeeze those things into your schedule so that you can see them written down and you can follow those plans throughout your week. Now, 
of course, things happen. Things don't always go your way. Sometimes you have a schedule and things don't happen. And that's okay. But if you at least have a plan, then if it falls apart one day, you can get right back to it the next day. And there's no guilt. There's no shame. There's no like bad self-talk about this. Like this schedule is to help you achieve your goals. It's not to help you pick on yourself, be mean to yourself, talk bad to yourself. None of that. None of that. So, excuse me. I just like caught my breath real quick there for some reason. Um, if you are trying to reach a goal, the worst thing you can do is criticize yourself and pick on yourself and call yourself names and be derogatory to yourself because you did not hit your goal for the day. Tomorrow is another day. Try again tomorrow. But at the end of the day, you should mark down the things that you did achieve and you should celebrate those things that you did achieve. So I'm on my last bottle of water for my 100 ounces of water for the day. And when I was filling this up a while ago, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm ahead of schedule today. I only have to drink this bottle of water to hit my 100 ounces for the day. Woo woo! So I'm super excited. I'm ahead of schedule. Yay! Um, so, I mean, do celebrate the things that you did well. If you chose, like I have exercise during my lunch break because it's been cold outside and I don't want to go outside and go for a walk at six o'clock in the morning because it's nasty and cold. So I'm going to start now that it's warmer, I'm going to start walking outside during my lunch break or at some time around that time of day just to get in a 20 minute or 30 minute walk. Now, you can see I have that cricket right there or whatever you call that thing, gazelle or whatever it is. Um, I a lot of times will get on that in the evenings when I'm like done working for the day and I might watch a program on TV while I walk on the treadmill or sometimes I'll listen to a positive podcast or some sort of education while I'm walking on the, whatever you call that thing. Um, so. I put the handouts in the video on Facebook. If you're one of those people that's not on Facebook, you're gonna have to hop over there to grab it or send me a message and I'll send it to you. But I created a Google Doc, so you'll have to get on there and save it to your own Google Doc. You'll have to file, make a copy and save it. There's instructions on there for how to do it, I believe. If not, just make yourself a copy. And I also did a PDF file that you can download and print off if you're a paper kind of person. And then you can just write the times of the day and the blocks. And you don't have to do the same thing every single day. Like, for example, I have um, several different businesses that I work on marketing and emails for. So Monday is one business from 10 to noon. I do marketing for that business. Tuesday is a different business. Wednesday is a different business. And then I go back to the beginning and I start over again. So you can do this it's yours, your schedule. You can create it any way that it suits your life. But I think, I promise you, if you start thinking about what you're doing with the little pockets of your day that are maybe not being utilized well right now, and you squeeze in those things that are gonna catapult you towards reaching your big, hairy, audacious goal that you will find that you get things done a lot more efficiently and you'll have a lot less stress because you know what you're doing, you'll have a plan, and it really helps me to have a daily to-do list. So in the mornings, I sit down and think, okay, what has to be done today? What things must I get accomplished? And I write those down. And then if I think of something later that maybe doesn't have to be done today, but needs to be done tomorrow, I'll just send myself an email so that tomorrow morning when I check my email, I'll be like, oh, that's right. I wanted to do that today. It's right there. Or if you keep a calendar, you can put it on your calendar for that day. But this block schedule is really just for blocks of time like exercise or sleep or personal development. So it doesn't have to be specific. It's just blocking off time for things like self-care that you can utilize to help catapult yourself towards 
a healthier or more productive person and um, reach your goals in a much quicker way and feel good about it as you're going. Because at the end of the day, every day, you're going to check those things off your list and you're going to celebrate the things that you did well. And then maybe at the end of the week, you need to recalibrate and think, okay, so this week I really struggled to meet this particular time block. Like this isn't working for me. So you can go into your schedule and look at it and be like, okay, what needs to be adjusted in order for me to do a better job next week? It's not about blame. It's not about shame. It's not about anything other than you tweaking what you're doing in order to be more productive and get to those big, hairy, audacious goals faster because you're actually putting one foot in front of the other, even if it's in little steps every single day to get you one step closer to that big, hairy, audacious goal. So like I said, again, I put the links in the live video on Facebook if you want to go over there and grab those. And if you'd like a little bit of help or if you need some information, I would be happy to chit chat with you about your goals. If you need a little help or you need a little nudge or maybe you're just feeling stressed out about it, reach out to me. I would love to help you figure out how those goals can become part of your life and start pushing you towards that big, hairy, audacious goal that you have. So that's it for today. I hope these videos were great. The rest of this week is you planning your homework. And Friday, I would love to hear from you guys about what you came up with. Do you have anything you'd like to share? Do you have anything you'd like feedback on? That's what we're doing on Friday. So tomorrow's my birthday. I'm taking a break from live videos tomorrow unless I'm doing something fun. But um, let's check back in on Friday. I would love to hear what you came up with and if there's something that I can help you tweak or um, do just a little better on or just make you feel a little more confident about, I'm here to help. I hope you guys have a fantastic evening. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Have a great one.